Okay, good morning, folks, and uh, welcome to today's Finance Committee meeting. My name is Council Member Daniel Drum, and I'm chair of the committee. Uh, we have been joined by Council Members Robert Cornegie, Council Member Monique Miller, Council Member Adrian Adams, Council Member Keith Powers, Council Member Helen Rosenthal, Council Member Karen Costles, who's new to the committee. Welcome, Karen. Thank you for being with us on the committee. Council Member Farrah Lewis, Council Member Vanessa Gibson, and my co chair of the committee with um, Apple Finance, Council Member and Minority Leader Steve Mattio, Council Member Barry Bench, Council Member Francisco Moya, Council Member Jimena Heimer, and Council Member Mark Jones. Uh, today, the committee will be voting on six items. Intro 780, which would extend the rate of the additional tax occupancy of hotel rooms. The resolutions to amend and state property tax rates for 2020, a transparency resolution, and one land use item. Let's start with intro 1780, which would extend the rate of 5.875% for the additional tax on the occupancy of rooms from November 30th, 2023 to maintain the status quo. It is estimated by the Council's Finance Division that the additional tax, if extended, current rate of 5.875% would generate $6 million in fiscal 2021. The amendment of the tax rate and members of the committee have a letter of support for the record from the first deputy commissioner of the in a hearing material this morning. are here to answer questions. Next, three tax rates for fiscal 2020. Every year, the council to adopt tax rates for the coming fiscal year. The rates that we adopt are State law imposes a 5% cap on the as a way of monitoring this that with any action, the tax legislation to lower the class share cap to zero percent. And restating as a result of class one homeowner approximately Tax rate may Next is the transparency resolution, which sets forth the new designation and designation of into certain initiatives. The pre qualification process conducted by the NIST with any of the groups on contractors used by organizations sponsored by discretionary funding. The contract project is in Council Member Miller's district in Queens, 11 property tax exemption to support to call the vote. We call the committee on contract and appreciate what the council is doing here today uh, in finding a model for citizens in the city. Um, I think it doesn't get to a better remedy over I vote aye. Rosenthal. Continuation of the hotel tax. Um, and we know um, that 
of the problem causing our afford making our affordable housing that industry that is such a critical base of with the idea of continuing this tax on the hotel I don't think we have enough information, uh, but rates and the amendment that I do vote I uh, Yes, on the rest. Hotel New York City. Struggling for that reason, I'm I'm abstaining about it, and I, um, you know, in the future. On 11:54, and I. Um, 